Wedding Day at Trollhagen is arguably Grieg's most famous piano piece, for good reason. And he actually wrote it to celebrate his 25-year wedding anniversary with his wife Nina. And originally it was called The Well-Wishers Are Coming, in this marching fashion. But he changed it to the final title when it was published as part of the Lyric Pieces Book 8, that's Opus 65. And it's a happy march full of optimism with a middle section of a lyrical and nostalgic character. Let's get into the music. So we have this famous Scandinavian folk music feature of an open fifth in the bass in this march rhythm. It provides the energy that drives the whole section forward. And we have kind of a really stable rhythm in the melody. And this dotted rhythm is especially a march rhythm. Again, dotted. But it's also very melodic. So it's a really nice mixture of those two ideas, melody and march. This is one phrase and then we start higher and basically do the same thing. And now the harmony, it's a very neat progression. So we're in D major. major. B is just the 6, and then we go down to B minor, to E, to A. So this is just a 2-5-1 in A. There are some extensions here, we have B minor 7, E 11, and A sus resolving. And then the next round starts on G which is the 4 in D. The A major is not really modulated to A major because it's so quick, it's just a local instance of A major. Then G. And the same going down to E minor. And now we get the 2, 5, 1 in D major. So E minor to A, that's a 5, that's a dominant, to D. So Major. So it's really nice that it's the same thing but 251 in A major and then 251 in D major. And then we get all of this repeated but one octave higher. And in pianissimo, got to save the excitement because it's going to be a lot of that later. Now we go back down in the register and we get forte and this is the wedding reception party. But it's kind of interrupted with a short section with a lovely modulation transition. So it's from A major. But then we just switch the two notes keep the E but we take this down we get the A flat plus 5 and then we also switch the A flat to a G we get the G64 and that's a cadential progression now G7 to C so we're modulating from A major up to C it's a median now we get the same thing starting from C major flat major. So it's a classical Greek feature of going in thirds, A major to C to E flat. And here starts the next section that's really getting fun to play. It's a long build up 
that's going to the climax and we get kind of a new motif idea. So you can kind of uh, discern a melody. But we have this syncopation that's making it kind of exciting. So it should be with pedal, I think. going on here? Well, to start off, we have a pedal point on E flat in the bass, keeping it stable. And then it's all the time pointing forwards harmonically. So we end up in E flat major. But immediately we're adding a 7, so it's E flat 7 to A flat. Still pointing forward, adding a 7, A flat 7, to D flat. But now the E flat in the bass is really creating a nice sonority. And now from D flat we go this shift to a kind of a B flat 7 with E flat in the bass. But and kind of a lot of extensions on top here kind of B-flat, 9, 11. And then in the top, when we reach the top, it's just thirds left. It's kind of a distillation of Grieg harmony, only going on thirds. But we're still kind of in some A-flat major tonality. And then we get this. Tchaikovsky's first piano concerto. <laughs> Something like that. No, that's Tchaikovsky. This is Grieg. Now we get the return of the first theme in forte fortissimo. But now the texture is transformed, so instead of the, the open fifth, we get these arpeggios. Uh, they're really symphonic textures and this nice syncopation on the dotted. we're at the middle section. So now we need a contrast to this. So we go down, it's tranquillo, piano, and we go to G major. We get the same open fifth in the bass though. And now we get these really nice, long, nostalgic lines. So we have G in the bass all the time, and then these really lush chords on top of that. Just a G major 7 with F sharp. And then kind of a D7 over G. E minor 7. And now this is E minor, A. That's a 2-5-1. The second phrase here starts on C and then eventually goes to A minor, D, G. That's a 2-5-1 back to G. And the C 
it's the four in G. So it's actually the same harmonic structure as the beginning of the first March theme, but here it's completely different music, but it's still a nice connection there. And also with the melody, we have this um, answering kind of a dialogue, maybe between a husband and wife in a marriage, answering each other. <laughs> everything. They're really enjoying their time together, but there's also some sparkle. So it's going from G major straight to the median of B major. That's an, some exciting sparkle. But back to the nostalgic. So here we only get one round and we're staying in B major. And then we go back to G major. It's still exciting because it's another median from back from B major to G major. All the time pianissimo and dolce of course. And this ending joint is a little bit more chromatic. And now we reach the D7 and we would kind of expect resolution but Greek keeps the tension here for one extra bar and it's an amazing feeling this bar so the resolution comes and it feels so nice because we've waited one extra bar for it just just do it again get a repeat of the full first section in G but with the added bell of one note in this uh, sensual hand crossings And of course, I think you can do more of the forte the second time than the first time, really get it blossoming here. And then we get a full repeat of the whole March section, exactly the same. And by the way, this whole build-up place, I forgot the last time, uh, it feels so much like the Hall of the Mountain King. This way of taking a little bit of material and repeating it and grow the intensity underneath it. Although in The Hall of the Mountain King, it's negative panic for the trolls are coming. Here it's only positive excitement, only happy trolls. So we get all of that and then there's a coda. That's a nice structural resolution to all the build up climaxes. So I'm jumping straight to the coda after... Uh, echo from the syncopation from um, in the middle and this really nice timpani part in the left hand boom 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 and it's a big uh, uh, diminuendo from the top going all the way down to the bottom just going between D and A boom, 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 boom. actually here's a G over the timpani D and A and these kind of suspensions 
And in the end, all that's left is just the open fifth. And it ends with a bang. So I will now play through the whole march section going into the coda to finish this video. And a special shout out to my Patreon sponsors M Valente and M Kroskel.